Hey everybody, it's Nicholas Rogers with the Big Timber Lodge! <laughs> Coming back at you today with another video. And this video is going to be about the extended beaver tail and back strap from Rapid Engineering for the Glock 43X and 48. Now, i got a little bit of news for you. It turns out that this back strap that I showed you last time in the video was the prototype. It wasn't the finished deal that I purchased. Rapid Engineering reached out to me after I made that video and said, hey dude, we've got the finished product we'd like to send to you to actually do a full review on and we don't want you to go easy on it. And I said, sure, why not? Send it my way. So let's go ahead and have a quick look at the difference between the finished product and the prototype that I had purchased. The prototype is on the right with the raised lines and a lighter color black versus the darker color black and the traditional raised stippling on the final product. When I first got this finished product in, I was a little concerned that it might be a little thinner on the backstrap portion, decreasing the length of pull that I was gaining from the prototype. But this is the prototype on the pistol. When I grip up on it and put my finger, my trigger finger straight up, you could see how much trigger finger is going past the trigger guard right there. And if I swap this out for the finished product and put my finger up past the trigger guard, it's roughly the same amount, meaning the length of pull has been increased almost identically with the prototype in the finished product. I like that. I like that extra length of pull. I'm not going to get into it. Now, one of the things that you will notice, though, is that with the finished product versus the prototype, that the extended beaver tail is actually thinner on the finished product, meaning it's not as deep vertically. And what that's going to allow you to do is still get that nice low bore axis that everybody loves about a Glock. It's still gonna protect me from slide bite, but my hand webbing is able to get up deeper into the beaver tail, keeping that bore axis lower, which is gonna help reduce muzzle flip. Great job, Rapid Engineering. Uh, just to let you know, if you're applying either the just extended beaver tail, which is meant for people that don't necessarily have really big hands, but maybe chubby hands, or you just get slide bite, this is what you want. You want this. It's not really gonna extend a lot of the back strap out, but what it will do is it'll help prevent slide bite. Now, if you have bigger hands and you need that longer length of pull, that's where you're gonna wanna have the full large back strap with the extended beaver tail to grip up and extend that length of pull and also prevent the slide bite. Now, one of the things that he did ask me to do is to actually put this on the pistol and take it to the range and try to break it. So that's what we're gonna do today. This portion of the video has been muted to improve its chances in the YouTube algorithm. Let's go to the range and see if this extended beaver tail backstrap from Rapid Engineering does actually help my shooting ability by increasing the length of pull from my trigger finger, as well as giving my support hand more real estate on the left side of the pistol grip for better control, as well as how good of a job it's gonna do with getting rid of slide bite. Let's go. Before I start shooting, I just want to point out that the stippling that's on the back of this extension is actually more aggressive than the stippling that you get from Glock. And I actually kind of like that because on my other Glock 43X, I put a rubberized textured grip just because I felt like the 43X was lacking in that area. So let's go ahead and load it up. It feels more like a full size pistol even before I start to shoot.
Wow. Right away, I'm noticing a lot better recoil mitigation. A lot more. I mean, it, it's undeniably better recoil control with this extension so far. It's like a different gun. A lot. <laughs> it's 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 completely different. I don't even know how to describe it. I'm getting zero slide bite, by the way, and I am choked way up into this beaver tail. That is fantastic. Now, is there any movement? No. So far, this tape is holding this perfectly. There's no wiggle in this extension, and this beaver tail is preventing any sort of slide bite. And I'll tell you what, just having a little bit extra length of pull and allowing my trigger finger to rest against the side of the pistol and open up this side of the grip for my support hand, I feel like I can control this so much better than before. It's wild. Let's go a little fast. Wow. I hope that looked as good on camera as it felt in my hand. Take a look at the target. Not bad. Every round hit paper. Granted, rapid fire, I did go a little high into the A zone and one in the D but most everything was in the A and the C. That's amazing. Two fresh mags loaded up. Let's send some lead down range. It just feels like a better grip angle too. I don't know if that's been improved upon with this extension. I'll have to do more research on it, but it almost feels more like a 1911 grip, kind of like in between a Glock grip and a 1911 grip. But it definitely opens up my dominant hand and gives more real estate on that grip for the support hand. Let's go ahead, A zone. Wow. This just feels more controllable. I, I don't know how to describe it. It just does. What about one-handed? How does it work one-handed? No issues. Wow. What about non-dominant hand? How does that feel? Getting slapped with brass. <laughs> you know you're having a good day. Just points well too. I always thought the 43X had good point ability, but this just comes right up and that front post is flat with the rear sight and I'm just aiming. <laughs> it's amazing. We're gonna to try to put five inside the block up top, A zone. Seven yards, so 21 feet. It just feels good in the hand. I can't, I, I just can't get over how much better it feels in the hand. And I already enjoyed, I already enjoyed the 43X grip. This just makes it that much better. It's amazing. I, don't, I just, and it's controllable. I feel like I'm getting less rotation with the piston or the pistol in my hand. This is awesome. I mean, uh, what's going on here? This is, and this is not an expensive 
addition, yet it's making me shoot this like it's a top tier pistol. Wow. I mean, <laughs> look at that, five in the A. 21 feet, wall talking. I'm sold. So we're back here in the lodge, and man, this is what I call a happy review. Because this thing worked way better than my expectations. It did things that I didn't even expect it to do. By improving the grip angle with this Glock, made the pointability a lot better, which once again, I already thought the Glock 43X had great pointability. And the amount of recoil mitigation that this extension helped me with was undeniably a thousand times better than what I expected. I mean, seriously, it was amazing. You saw how well I was able to control this pistol, even one-handed and non-dominant hand. And what about that five-shot group at the end into the little A zone from seven yards, 21 feet, while talking, this extension made me a better shooter with my Glock 43X. That is undeniable. And what I'm probably the happiest about is I got no slide bite. I'm not bleeding, <laughs> which is normally what happens after I shoot 300 rounds with my 43X at the range. So I hope you guys take away something from this. If you have bigger hands or you have chubbier hands and you get slide bite or you want longer length of pull with your Glock 43X or your Glock 48, this extension just might be what you're looking for. Now, <laughs> I'm so happy about this because I still have the prototype, which I'm going to put on my other Glock 43X. I like it that much. And then... I have just the beaver tail extension. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. Maybe I'll give it away. I'm coming up on 10,000 subscribers and I'm gonna have a 10,000 subscriber party virtually. Maybe I'll give it away during that live stream. So until next time, everybody, peace. Stop, that's not your purse. Woohoo! Oh! Let's get back to the lodge.